uh, let's continue with nodes which we can use for work with attributes unfortunately amount of this operator syntax designer is very limited so we already researched about uh, chop2 and dot2 so let's make a short walk through other operators what we have we have attribute create let's make for example a sphere make some noise deformation and as you see for example after the noise deformation the normals are not proper so in order to control that we can use attribute create operator in this operator we can only create two attributes compute normals and compute tangents which we can use for proper bump in materials so if we check the normal mapping in uh, touch designer help we can find that for usage of normal mapping we need to have a tangent attribute on your geometry which can be done using attribute create sop there is a, some new parameter which is not really documented yet using attribute you can only delete or rename attributes so not that super powerful tool in comparison for example to what we have in Goudini I think everything else uh, what we can do with attributes we can only do with script soap or particularly with the dot to using the custom dot tables we have also facet which is an advanced version of attribute create where we can very detailed work with the normals so let's create it that operator is very similar to the same operator in Goudini we can pre-calculate normals and post-calculate normals we can cusp polygons uh, depending on the angle between polygons but for that we logically need to have a polygon geometry so in that case you can see we can make some of uh, triangles looking flat and some of them looking smooth depending on the cusp angle we can also clean our geometry bit using remove inline points and orient polygons we can remove degenerate polygons and we can even consolidate points which corresponds to Goudini fuse operator and there are uh, additional option unique points where we can split all uh, polygons by the vertices everything else what I attached to the attributes department are point primitive and vertex operators which can work in a loop where we can alter the values of attributes using expressions here we can create new attributes create custom attributes create standard attributes and the same is for primitive and vertices but we discussed that already in the lesson 9 and last note which belongs for my opinion to the attributes is a texture where we can work with UV attribute and here we can generate UVs based on different rules and modify existing uv using modify source uh, option we have also not to forget that uv attribute is array so one geometry can have a huge amount of uvs using the texture layer parameter which is quite practical and using that so up to eight uv layers we can use for multi-texturing which needs, I think, the additional uh, lesson.
to explain how to work with that. Uh, now let's switch to the operators which belongs to the deformations and modeling. So I close the attribute page and let's start with deformation. 